So we got a beautiful 70 degree day here in Florida. I made mean, it's about an hour's drive from the villages to get here up uh, 484 and then take a left. Uh, and I can't remember the name of the road. But we're at the Central Ridge District Park, uh, 6905 North uh, Lacanto Highway. So, uh, and this is, uh, this is where I'm gonna park the car to get onto the Withlacoochee bike trail. Uh, this is where I biked down to the last time. Now today, I, I'm planning on a long, much longer bike ride. I'm probably gonna be sore for the next week. <laughs> but, but I'm dressed for the occasion and I uh, got the biking pants on. I, I went all out, so uh, this'll be a fun, fun day. I hope the wind's not coming on the speaker too much. Uh, let's get started. So here at the entrance in this district park, I uh, thought it was nice that uh, you don't see the POWMIA flag that often. And and I wanted to show, uh, you know, I always get this on the videos because uh, I am going to avail myself of the bathrooms here. Um, so they do have the two bathrooms. And then, of course, we've been here before. This is the entrance to the trail right here. Uh, and so uh and that's a, that's actually a grill i remember the first time i was going what the hell is this thing so uh so we'll get started here and uh i'm waiting there's actually a guy in there right now so i gotta wait till he comes out all right see you on the trail so right here and this is the uh access path to the uh with Lacucci bike trail got this on a previous video but i figure i just toss it on this video because uh it is quite beautiful coming in, you know, and uh, this this might be the prettiest part of the ride <laughs> today. Cause, uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's let's keep going. So there goes the Ranger, about uh, three miles into the ride. This is basically what it looks like the whole way. Um, so a few people out here. I've seen about four or five people. So that's uh, that's good. I'm glad to see people getting out and enjoying the. Uh, the with Lacucci bike trail here. Uh, you're basically pedaling along a highway over here. I don't know if you can hear the car noise. Look, it looks like we've dived a little bit further back in here. At first, it was, you were really close to the road, and then it, this is just going the other direction, just kind of moving along. Boy, I wish I had more than the sweatpants. I'm gonna have to take them off. It's, uh, I thought it was gonna be a cool day. I might, you know, the reason I brought them was uh, if it cools off later in the day, uh, the other thing that's, uh, <laughs> you know, note to note to you guys, uh, you might want to check the wind speed <laughs> before you go biking, because I need eye protection. I've already had this some debris blow into my eyes from the wind. So here comes another biker down here. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, I get to make fun of this guy because <laughs> everybody passes me because I go really slow, but he's actually slower than I am. <laughs> But that's uh, what we've come down another mile. Unfortunately, it's kind of downhill and that means it's going to be uphill on the way back and Well, you know how I feel about that from previous videos I'm not too tired, but I did want this is one of the things I really like about this bike trail You know, you do run into these benches occasionally. I guess it's usually they're up from where you're crossing a road uh, Just describing the trail so far. There's there's houses set back in the woods on either side and an occasional business uh, you know, but you know, it's still pretty good. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful trail. There's no doubt about it. I can't wait to get on the other side of Inverness when I heard that it really gets beautiful on that side. I'm hoping we'll get to Inverness today, but that's that's a stretch for me. But I got all day. So, uh, but like I said, I go slow. <laughs> all right, let's keep on going. So I wanted to get them on the video. See how fast they're going? No way I could keep that pace. Fat old man that I am. But I thought I'd get this, uh, see this is a real nice touch. I, I don't know why, you know, in most places on, the, on trails in Florida when they do have a bench, I mean, why not put a little roof over top of it? Now, I'd, I'd like that roof to be a little bigger because you get caught in a thunderstorm out here, which happens quite often, especially in the rainy season. Uh, you know, it's nice to hole up somewhere and just wait it out because usually they only last maybe 30 minutes or so. But I was wondering what the purpose of that was. <laughs> I mean, I guess you, to lean your bike up against, because uh, you know, a lot of bikes don't come with kickstands these days. But you can see we're just kind of parallel in this highway over here. Uh, you know, you kind of 
go away from it for a little bit and then come back towards it and more of the same this is what the trail looks like i don't know how long i've been riding a good hour or so and then of course we already got this direction so let's keep going i'd say this is a first for me i've never seen a water fountain on, on one of these paved bike trails before but you can see i didn't bring my water bottle because i uh well number one i forgot it number two didn't think I'd need it today, but it, it was nice and it actually works. And, and like, here's what's cool. Check it out. You got the dog bowl down here. So if you you could bring your dog here. Of course, this is a ways down from uh, where I parked. That'd, that'd be a long ways to walk your dog. But look up here. That's uh, that's actually a picnic table shelter. Uh, so, you you know, in a storm, once again, that's even better than the other one because you can sit on either side and have a picnic and uh but if a storm came in you could just get up on top of that picnic table and i think you would uh you'd be protected so anyway let's keep on going i'm gonna get some more water this is what the trail's looking like right here so just more of the same okay we've actually at the spot where i was in a previous video because uh so i've already made a video about this uh I mean, I'm only about an hour, hour and a half into the ride. I'm certainly going to keep going. But this is what I was talking about when I didn't bring my money the last time. This is the burger station. And thank God I finally got the name of the town, Hernando, Florida. Okay, and I went in there and, uh, man, I had a burger. It was huge. <laughs> and uh, the thing was, when you're biking, you know, you can't really get it in the disco box now, can you? Well, if you had a backpack, I guess you could. So uh, I had to eat the whole thing. Man, that was a, that was a tough ride back to Inverness because, uh, you know, on a full stomach, that was uh, that was brutal. But they uh, this, this is a great place to stop, man. And of course, it looks like they also got ice cream. So if you got the, the, the uh, significant other along, uh, they might want to just go in and get some ice cream. And so here's Lake Hernando. In fact, let's walk down there and uh, get, a, get a shot of the lake. Hold on. So these things always baffle me. That's the Lake Hernando Medical Center. And it looks like that might be a fire pit. But, you know, if you work there, why wouldn't they put a picnic table in? This would be a great place to just, you know, for your employees to just come out, or even the owner or whatever, and have a picnic. But here's a shot of the lake. And by the way, it looks like this place has boat tours. Uh, I don't know the name of it. So, well, there's a, there's a boat right there, I guess. This is, uh, welcome to the lake. I don't see the, the name, but... We'll get out on the dock here, but this is, uh, hope I'm not trespassing. <laughs> they got live bait, so uh, let's uh, let's get out here, hold on. So, lots of picnic tables. I'll just stop right here. Well, actually, they got some stairs going down. I was wondering how I was gonna get down here. But there's the lake. Let's get a, let's do a panoramic real slow. Look at the birds out there, holy moly. See that guy walking up there? <laughs> He's, he starts walking up to me and I was getting kind of scared. I was like, what? cause he looks, he looks scary, man. I tell you, he's thin as a rail though. I think he must be homeless. Anyway, so I <laughs> cut that off too soon, but so he walks up to me with his hand outstretched, you know, and I was thinking, well, I, I'll shake his hand, what the hell? And uh, so I, you know, I shook his hand and uh, and he told me, he says, he says, I went down there and they gave me some food. He says, they gave me some food. He says, but, and I was like, well, I, you know, I wanted to say, good, good, you know, I'm glad that somebody's feeding him. So uh, anyway, that's it for the lake. Uh, boy, the outdoor sink there. All right, let's keep on going down the bike trail. I get another video uh, as we get closer to Inverness. I think we will make it there today. So that'll be good, that'll be good. So if you wanted to catch the trail in Hernando, there's a parking area. We're just down from the burger joint. The burger joint's just up there a ways. So uh, I was wondering, you know, if I could find some parking along here, but this is my least favorite part of the trail. Bring a basketball, man. <laughs> so anyway, this is uh, that's cool because if you so if you wanted to drive, here comes another biker. So he's so if you wanted to drive to Hernando rather than pick it up where I did, uh, you could just drop park your car here. So just down from the parking area, I don't think I got this on the last video. 
it's a nice uh because that day I think it was raining. <laughs> but you can see, that, you know, this is nice, man, because you got some bathrooms along the way. And probably that water fountain works. I'm not going to go over there and disturb him. But, uh, you, well, you can see a couple people over here that are, that are riding and picnicking. And uh, some chairs here and a shelter. There's some shelters so that if you had to hole up in the storm. So we're just going to keep on. And this is why you can see this is why I, this is my least favorite part of the trail. It's very busy here. Well, here's another place to eat, Chicken King. Uh, you know, I, I might get a beer on the way back. Hernando beer, wine, and cigarettes. Just get one of those uh, 20 ounce beers and come over here and drink it, huh? Well, let's keep going. Boy, that was a sophisticated bike. I can't imagine how a couple thousand dollars easy. But anyway, I don't know. You know, you can see this is not a kind of an ugly portion of the trail. I don't know why all this is cut down. If anything, you would want it to grow up unless they're gonna put a business in in right here it might be a uh, zoned uh, commercial but the only reason I stopped here was because in a previous video uh, that I got this that's why I won't be taking probably much more until we get to Inverness but this is the shelter that I held up under during a thunderstorm and uh, that's why I say these are so important to have along the trail I mean it was a bad storm wind was blowing and uh, you know I got up on that table and just you know tried to try to keep my bike as dry as I could um, but so that's that's it. But anyway, let's keep going All right, I got this on the last video <laughs> I just thought that was so cute and I was gonna ride past it But then I looked over here and I did not get this on the video So if you are a veteran out here uh, biking Might want to go in there and meet these fellows veterans helping veterans uh, You know in fact, I might stop there uh, on my way back uh, just because uh, they've got a lot of services and uh you know, in fact, I called them and they referred me to a um, a free uh, um, uh, law service for uh, uh, disabled veterans, and that's how I got my consultation. I couldn't meet in person; I just had to talk to them on the phone for my uh, my divorce. But you can see, it's still still kind of an ugly portion of the trail. So this is what I remembered. This is a, this is another beautiful portion of the trail. It's, once you get past Hernando. You do the road kind of turns left and you get back into the woods here and uh, another bench here and uh, I'm gonna unveil myself of that and you can see it uh, same thing going in that direction a lot of the people on the sit down bikes I I don't know I they look fun maybe I'll rent one one day alrighty peace up so I made it to Inverness boy it's a big city I saw the sign way back there and I was like man no I'm in Inverness already <laughs> yeah, but I hadn't made it to here. This is, uh, I can't remember the name, name of this lake. Uh, let me get the other side. Here, hold on one second. So this is the other side. Boy, there's a guy back there fishing in a boat close to shore and made me, made me jealous, man. I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to take us fishing. And I tell you what, I love fishing, but uh, I haven't been fishing in a very long time. Well, you gotta have a boat, you know, and fishing from shore is, it's okay. But anyway, this little bridge, I don't see how you could get a boat underneath here, but I guess you could to get from one side to the other. And this is the only place I know of that you could, you could take a boat through, but wouldn't be a very tall boat, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go into Invernus if I can find, I'm hoping David Cycle World will watch my bike because I'd like to walk around Invernus for a while. This is it for the day for the bike ride. And this will be it for the, well, I might take some more video in Vernus just to, just to show you a little more of the town. I, if, I, if I can get a walkabout, that's one disadvantage of not having a lock on the bike, you know. But uh, let's see what David, because that's where I bought the, the bike, but not at this store, but at another store uh, over in um, Wildwood. So uh, so it is it is their bike, and I'm, I'm thinking they'll watch it for me. So let's see. So this is uh, this is the depot here in Inverness. I thought maybe you might want to see some of the town. Very nice touch. Got some live music. I don't want to get any faces on the. That's why I'm just taking it from the back. I mean, you got some people over here. I don't think you can see too much. Anyway, uh, let's let's walk around the park here a little bit. Actually, I'm in search of a bathroom. <laughs> got to be one here somewhere. So let's see if I can find it. So this is the interior of the depot building. Pretty cool. They have events here quite often in Vernus. In fact, there's a, should be a sign somewhere around here and 
I'll put it on the video because uh, you know it might be over by the time you watch this video but anyway let's keep going so way down there is the depot so this is the last building and here's a bike trail coming along uh, and this is the bathrooms so uh, one, one thing I forgot to get on the video was how long because I, I don't really judge miles I judge uh, how long it takes me to to get somewhere and it was a little over two hour bike ride for me with one small little break to get here now I'm not the fastest biker in the world you know if you can if you can do 20 miles an hour imagine you could be here in an hour or less you know but uh, for me that's a long bike ride because now I got to ride back two hours and that's why I wanted to come here and just walk around but I isn't this a nice touch they call this the Liberty Walk and uh, I, uh, did, you know, I've done this a couple of times, but uh, I just, um, you know, if I was going to move somewhere in Florida, this is uh, this is a place that I would definitely investigate. You know, and not only do they have a nice VFW, I don't want to get this guy's face on the. Let's get this, the boardwalk real quick, and uh, and here's a real nice view. I'll get a little more video once he gets on past. So I think this is cool. I mean, you know, the boardwalk kind of wanders around, makes you feel like you're you're in the jungle you know i uh you know when they put this up i i mean i wasn't here of course but i mean i just i just think that the you know i wonder you know who built it and who had the idea to do something like this it's just cool i i i don't want to take too much video good lord this thing's gonna get long but there's various places to sit along here and just look at the lake if you wanted just to come out here and and uh you know like see here's a here's another well, that's just a trash can. No, they got benches in there. All right, that's good enough for the board bar. I'm going to walk the whole thing. So here's a bunch of people playing shuffleboard, and I assume that's open to the public. And I think there's two more bathrooms right here, further down. And uh, this is always good. This little obstacle courses, so you can do push-ups on these. In fact, I may do some. There's a setup table, the pull-up bars over here. I always love that, you know, I don't know why in most parks they don't put more stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, if you wanted to, I don't know what the sign says, but I wonder if you can go out on this dock and fish. There's a guy down here fishing off of the shoreline. Let's see what it says. Kayak, a canoe launch, no swimming, jumping or diving, no running or learning, no alcohol, no motors. So no, that doesn't say no fishing, so you could go out on the end of this dock and fish. So that'd be fun. So this is just a... And there's another dock over here. Let's walk over there. Here's the other dock. And see, there's a woman up here. I don't want to get her face on the video. But I can just show it to you. You've seen enough of the water for the day. But this is cool. So this is cool. Man, those are some nice, nice sand volleyball courts. God, I remember when I lived at Wrightsville Beach, man. Playing sand volleyball when I was young. You know, I'm short, so I always I was called a setter. But man, you know, I, I you, when you get you get to where you can dive and hit that ball with your the back of your arm and just get it up in the air, and you because it was two two man you know two man volleyball volleyball. Anyway, let's keep going. Check this out, man. <laughs> we didn't have places like this when I was a kid. This is the greatest kids play area I've seen in a while. Look at them over there and the the little thing spinning around. So. Man, I tell you, I love Florida. We're so free here. You don't see no damn masks on anybody down here. Like I said, I love seeing Pelosi and Biden suck on them damn things. By the way, uh, have you, <laughs> not, not trying to get political or anything, but uh, have you seen Nancy Pelosi's eyebrows? <laughs> I don't, I, I guess she got a facelift, man. I mean, it's it's bizarre looking. I mean, she was already an ugly woman for for sure, but I mean, man, now she's now she's ugly and bizarre. <laughs> uh, this is just a little uh, gazebo. I come out to to look at the water one last time. All right, I think that's about it for the park. So let's see what else we can find. So here's another building on the other side of the park. There's plenty of bathrooms here. So if, well, they, they do have the water fountains not working, but. Uh, Let's get out into the town. I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up here. It's gonna be five o'clock before I get back to the car, and uh, that's pretty late. I, you know, I'm just beat, man. I, even the walkabout's draining me. This is a whole day gone day. <laughs> Plus, I got an hour drive back home. 
but isn't this a neat town? I just think it's really, really cool. Well, let's get the let's get the caboose over here real quick, and uh, and then I'll walk around town, and uh, maybe if I can find like a couple of restaurants or something just to show you, because they got good eats here, from what I understand. I've never eaten here. Most of the time, I'm doing what I'm doing now, and I got to get back. And you know, if I went in and actually had a meal, uh, trying to ride that bike back, that'd be like having a an elephant on my stomach. So this was the seaboard, though near the South Railroad, five two four five a fitting retirement in a state of disrepair and missing its wheels caboose number four found a good home with rails to trails on of the with Lacucci in late 2003 a new roof durable siding a special caboose red paint job gave the train a second life the final touches came June 2007 when a crane. I was wondering how they got it here. <laughs> when a crane lifted the newly found wheels, assumed broadly, broadly the track. Lay, oh, they did bring it in on a track laid by volunteers, and it's carefully placed the wheels where it stands in Sentinel Trail today. And this is it. Boy, that is beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna walk around it see if I see anything. I, was, I wouldn't it be cool if you could get in there. I, I don't know if you can. Well, it says no trespassing, so I guess not. Well, I didn't get this on the video, Liberty Park. And uh, I'm gonna go over here and get this memorial. I just noticed it before, but yeah, I'm heading back. This is this is it for me today. But uh, let's let's go get the, get the memorial on the video. Okay, so this is, uh, this is September 11th uh, memorial. I don't know if you can read that, so I'll read it to you. Dedicated to the courage, strength, indomitable American spirit. <clears throat> God. I... Sorry. I just remember back on that day. Oh God, I get too emotional sometimes. During the events of September, Flight 93, the Pentagon, and they got the flags all the way around. There's one more view of the uh, of the tower, and we'll, we'll get the mantra here in a bit. I'm gonna get wait till I get back to the bike trail. That's it for the day. Hope you enjoy the video. So I don't know what the infatuation with turtles here is <laughs> here, here maybe they got a lot of turtles here because there's cooter park i did a video on that uh here in, in vernus but I, that's pretty cool looking in it so i'm not going to read this to you because i've already read it but i did want to show where we are and what we've done so you know we started at gulf junction and then uh we went through hernando and we're all the way down here at the uh apopka trailhead in Inverness. If you look at the map, that's about right here. So the next section of the trail we're going to knock out is going this direction, probably maybe to Floral City. And then uh, I'm real excited to get to this portion of the trail because I heard that's beautiful. And then they said, don't even bother with this. But I'm going to do it, of course, because I want to show you the whole trail. Because they said this is this is probably just like going through Hernando. Um, and at least that's what I've heard. Okay, let's hit the road, Jack. Oh yeah, right, right next to the bike shop. Here's the bike shop right there. There's a little picnic shelter, but this is cool because if you're biking, especially on a hot day, I'll bet you could use this. Let's see the water comes out. Yeah, there you go. You could refill your water bottle right here, uh, just because that's important, man. Being able to get water, because you know usually on a bike you only got one water bottle unless you got a backpack. So, right here, if you really wanted a day of biking and. Uh, You've already done, uh, like I have, all the way down to Inverness. You could just do this county trail. Now, I don't know where it goes or how long it is or anything like that. Someday I wouldn't mind coming back, and uh, I don't know if they'd let me park at the burger joint, but... Uh, oh, yeah, there was a parking area right there. Yeah, you could park there and then just come over here and do this trail. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it just stays by the road the whole way. You, you never know. Um, but anyway, let's keep on going. I'm going to get me a scoop of ice cream <laughs> I haven't had chocolate ice cream in a while because uh, I, I gotta stop here I man my knee I tore the meniscus in my left knee years ago and uh, man when I first started out in Inverness it was hurting like a son of a gun and I thought man I got a long ways to go two hours of biking and if it's gonna hurt like this but luckily the pain after a while went away for the most part so um but, oh yeah, I was going to tell you something. The reason why I think my knee is hurting so bad is uh, the seat is too low. And uh, we adjusted that years ago. And every time I bike ride, I, th I think I, I need to raise that seat. Because you want your, your, your legs, just a little edumacation here. When you're biking, you want your legs to completely extend. 
you know, for the most part. Maybe just a slight bend of the knee, but if you got a big bend in your legs, your seat's too low, and that's going to it's going to do what it did to me. You know, you're going to have problems. All right, let's keep on going. So I made it back. I did get that ice cream. I'm going to tell you what. For two dollars and eleven cents, she filled a huge cup. I was going to get brain freeze trying to eat it all. <laughs> I, but you know, I said I'm not letting it go, man. But I'm uh, this. I just wanted to get this because this is actually the prettiest part of the ride. This is the uh, the offshoot heading back to the parking lot. So uh, let's do the mantra: Freedom, oh freedom! Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida, where we have no mask requirements, no lockdowns, no jabs. And we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're Democrat, go to Kentucky. No, not Illinois, excuse me. Go to Illinois, go to New York, go to California, but stay the hell out of Florida. Peace out and stay free. Thought I'd add one last thing to the, uh, the video. I can see it pretty good. The... Um, Boy, I tell you, you guys keep the comments coming uh, because I am running out of hikes. I got uh, that, there's a seven mile hike in Homosassa uh, that I'm going to get to eventually, um, and then I got one more trip back to Sunny Hill, and I think that pretty much done unless I try that southern track again. And I, I don't think I'll try that. Uh, but um, this uh, one guy says, uh, try the Yearling. Y-E-A-R-L-I-N, Yearling Trail off of SR-19, right across from Silver Glen Springs. The Rodham, Rodman, R-O-D-M-A-N, Reservoir, uh, Kirkpatrick Dam off of SR-19, 10 miles south of Palak, I'll just spell it for you, P-A-L-A-T-K-A, -A Palata. If you drive across the dam and go to the end of the road where the ADVs park, the Florida Trailhead will be to your right. You could check out both trails. I think you'd enjoy them. So that's uh, that's three more hikes right there. Uh, looks like, um, you know, I I still got to attack the Florida Trail. Um, I'm I'm gonna get with I'm gonna start doing trail maintenance with the uh, volunteers, and um, we'll try to knock that section out between. Um, Three uh, CR 314 and uh, uh, 40 CR CR 40 because uh, I'll, I'll need their equipment to cut my way through unless my yard service. But it sounds pretty dangerous to be by yourself back in in that section of the Florida Trail. Um, another uh, another guy sent me a comment. If you get a chance, go to the Devil's Mill Hopper, which is also near Gainesville. A trail through the Pine Flat Woods suddenly comes to a sinkhole about 100 feet deep. If you're running through the woods, you could easily fall in. You could walk down a wood staircase that takes you to the bottom. When there is enough water, a waterfall pours into a small pond at the bottom. I believe it's the only waterfall in Florida. It's very quiet at the bottom, very nice. Uh, I've actually been to the Devil's uh, Mill Hopper uh, twice, actually. It is, and it's extraordinary. I mean, uh, but the thing is, they do have a. Uh, if it's the place I'm thinking of, they have a $12 fee to go in there and uh, hike around. But uh, I don't know who the, uh, there was a guy that owned it, and he planted all these exotic plants. I mean, everything that can possibly grow in Florida is, <laughs> is probably in the, in the devil's mill hopper. And uh, I have yet to go when there wasn't, because in the bottom, it fills up with water, uh, especially during the rainy season. And uh, so you can't hike around down there uh, other than, you know, where the water may have receded a bit um so uh you'd have to go during the dry season if you want to hike around and it is quite extraordinary i mean all the, the structures and everything that they built so but it would be nice to make a video there it's only 12 bucks uh, so maybe we'll get back there um so these are kind of the future hikes i've, I've done enough bicycling for a while i <laughs> i'm gonna have to recover from today and uh because uh you know it's it's rough on me got to remember adjust the seat adjust the seat we saw that in the video so uh there you go um we got a, we got a lot of good future stuff I actually i got to go back to uh, Payne's prairie up near gainesville and uh it was too wet and uh hot the last time i was there and we only got some of that trail in 
And I'm sure there's, I think there's, there might be three or four trails. We've already done one trail. The, 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 uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's the one where you go out and see the wild horses actually in the prairie and get to a tower. And I got a video of that. So, um, so there's a lot of good hikes coming up. Uh, you know, the problem is I got to, well, I'm finishing off the divorce tomorrow. And then uh, uh, I got to pack to make sure that I'm ready to go in case uh, the bat signal goes up for my mom and I have to go up to Virginia. And, well, hopefully if there's no snow on the ground, I'll get some hikes in up there. I, I, I doubt you'll ever be in Lynchburg, Virginia. And those videos hardly get anybody watching them. But, you know, I, that's, that's my niche. You know, that's my, that's my shtick is to get out and do some hiking because uh, Liberty Mountain has, you know, just tremendous trails. And uh, I could hike around back there probably for a week making videos you know it's a, you, you haven't even seen that their 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 new zip line and all of that stuff it's a, it's absolutely insane I'll, I'll have to actually go back and watch that video um so there you go and then of course we'll get up on the parkway again and there's a, a a few trails that i know up there i did the appalachian trail the last time i was in virginia and um there's a couple of others so i always like to promote my future videos we'll keep on going and uh i guess peace out stay free